During a typical day, you encounter trillions of bacteria from the surfaces you touch to coughs and sneezes of others. The many parts of your immune system are working together to help keep you from getting sick. Welcome to Moving Math and Science. Let's talk about the parts of the immune system. Let's begin with your skin. Your skin acts as a first line of defense because it acts as a barrier to help keep harmful germs, also called pathogens, outside your body. Mucus found in our noses, sinuses, and other locations trap many foreign invading germs. Stomach acid in the stomach stops most of the germs that enter the body on the food we eat. The lymphatic system is also a vital part of the immune system. The lymphatic system is a network of vessels that transport lymph throughout your body. Lymph is blood that escapes from capillaries. In addition to lymphatic vessels, the lymphatic system contains your spleen, lymph nodes, and your tonsils. Lymph nodes are small bean-shaped tissues along the lymphatic vessels, and these lymph nodes trap many germs. Your spleen also acts as a filter and eliminates many harmful germs. In addition, it stores immune system cells, and these cells are a type of white blood cells, and they capture and ingest foreign invaders. The tonsils also help by capturing germs that enter the body through your mouth and nose. The tonsils contain white blood cells that destroy these invading germs. Bone marrow, which is found inside of bones, produces immune system cells. These cells include several types of white blood cells, and they attack and destroy invading pathogens. The thymus is a gland located above the heart. T cells, which are produced in the bone marrow, migrate to the thymus. T cells are very important because they have the ability to attack and destroy viruses. So there we go, several parts of the immune system. Thanks for watching, and remember, Kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.